Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's time for some more reactions. Ginger. The song is called Rogue. Fairly new one from them. Um, we've only done two songs for them on this channel. We've done Pisces and we've done Wallflower. And I thought both of them were excellent. And so I want to hear this one. That's what we're going to do. That being said, if you want to show love and support to the artist and or this channel, I link ways for you to do that in the description box. So make sure you check it out. Also come follow me on my other channel. It's called A Pursued Life and it is a non-reaction channel. We talk about current events and whatever's going on in my brain. So yeah, that being said, I think um, I'm ready for this one. I think they're a talent. I really do. So I'm looking forward to this. I was not ready for that. Rewind that a second here. I know that she does the harsh vocals. I just wasn't expecting that right out the gate. And at that power. She has such a power in her voice. It's incredible. All right. I think I'm braced for, for it now. Let's do that again. Okay, so we just finished doing As I Lay Dying, and the song was called We Are the Dead, and it had Alex Terrible, and they were doing harsh vocals throughout the entire song. But the intensity of that song is very different from the intensity of this song. And I think that one was like considered more deathcore, although I'm not sure yet. This one doesn't have that same intensity. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's clearly intense, but it's I don't feel like it's as intense as um the one that we saw with As I Lay Dying and We Are the Dead. Uh their song We Are the Dead. So I don't know, like how how do we how do I classify this one? Like what what is it is it considered deathcore like as I lay dying? Or Alex Terrible? Because she's doing harsh vocals and she isn't actually using her, her like normal range singing voice that we've heard her do on other songs. But I'm just, I guess I'm curious about that. I'm trying not to overthink it, but she came in at 100% with that and the musicality is wonderful. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't feel like it's as intense as the one that we heard from As I Lay Dying. So I'm just curious to see if I'm right or wrong on how that is classified. Yeah, I guess that's all right, the value of my life 
part of me feels like it's disjointed the more I'm listening to the musicality. Like, it sounds good, but it sounds disjointed, and I almost feel like that's the point, the way that they're playing it. I don't know. Like, I... I don't think I understand the concept of the song. Not not being disrespectful or anything. I'm trying to understand. Um, I don't understand what she's saying. I think I heard her say, take a listen. Like, shut up and take a listen. I heard that, but I don't know what she said after that or before that. Um, <laughs> I, I just, I don't understand the harsh vocals half the time. Sometimes I can understand it. Sometimes I can't. Um... But then I'm listening to the musicality along with it, and it almost feels like it's disjointed, like it's supposed to be kind of chaotic. And I'm not sure if I'm picking up on that correctly or not. Or if this is like a particular style that I'm just not familiar with, which wouldn't be a surprise to me if I'm being honest with you. So um, just I'm just trying to understand it. Maybe there's not a, a clear way of understanding it, but let me know in the comments, like, what I'm hearing and help me correlate to what it's supposed to be because I'm not sure and I would really appreciate the help. <laughs> Just walking in this palace Rogue We are forced for the blood on his mouth Very interesting, for sure. Um, I'm not sure I understood the entirety of the point of the song. Um, not that I'm not trying to. It's just I don't think I'm picking up on it. It's not a bad song. I think that there is definitely a like some kind of point that's being made, and I just don't. I'm not used to hearing the point be told this way, so I'm not sure uh, what it is exactly, but I'm hoping you guys will kind of help fill in some of the gaps for me on this one because I'm I'm kind of struggling a little bit with it. I'm kind of caught in between. I like the musicality. I like what I'm hearing, but at the same time, I don't understand it. So I'm kind of caught in between these two little realms trying to like put it together, and, it, and sometimes I have a hard time with it. I do. Um, if I have to choose between this one... Pisces and Wallflower, I probably like Pisces best. And then Wallflower, this would be a third, just because I'm trying to figure it out. Maybe I'll, I'll, it'll be higher up the totem scale once I understand a little bit better, but I don't. I'm fortunately, and I'm sorry that I don't. I just don't. <laughs> yeah, I liked it. I just don't understand. All right, keep repeating myself. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. So if you like the content, and you know you do, you know what to do, so do it. <laughs> in the meantime, live your lives fabulously. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.